Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 75 of Trials and Trebuchets. I am your dungeon master, Luke, and joining me is... Hello. players whose names are... You, you good? Jesus Christ. Hey, everybody, my name is Ben, and I'll be playing the greatest cat in the multiverse that you know as Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> I feel like the list of cats I know in the multiverse is very small. <laughs> and that's why he's the best. <laughs> By default. There you go. By default. Anyone who says otherwise, well, you're wrong. I agree. Num 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 num. Num 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 num. Oh, uh, hello everyone. It's me, Adderberry, the level cutie, according to my mommy, blue nine-tailed squirrel. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I play Kurigami, a literary paper bird. He's gotten even stronger. Call that Kurigami Two Point Crow. Nice. <laughs> yes. But don't boom. What? But don't boom. And my name is Sam, and I play the baby of the group, um, Little Virgil. Uh, he Little is Virgil. going to. I can't even say he's gonna kick ass. He's just he's just here to have a good time with his friends. No talk me am angie. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Cute. And last time on Trials and Trebuchets, the heroes investigated the lumber camp after having found the rusted remains of their foe, the prickled pest who pursues at the edge of the clearing. Inside the camp's cabin, they found a puzzling riddle written on the bottom of a chest. Dealing with figs, potatoes, and keys, they gained access to a secret sanctum via a potato door. <laughs> and finally, having powered Kurogami up ever so slightly, they made their way north to the Great Green Lake. Which is where we are now! Yay! <laughs> Wow. So you're on the bank of this big I didn't lake. say this last time, but I bet oh. I bet this like area around the lake would make some great beachfront property if I ever decide to like have them put my <laughs> mansion here. <laughs> True. <laughs> Standing where you are, uh looking out into the actual lake itself, you see a uh slightly leaning tower, probably two hundred feet out from the shore. Uh and if you were to look like to your right down the shore itself you would see a series of burnt down little shacks that were built here on this beautiful property at one point, but have recently been burnt down, it would seem. Free real estate. And Mr. Wiggles, you smell in the air coming from uh, this tower away in the distance, the very faint smell of rust. Or it's a fairly strong smell at this point of rust. Hmm. So what would you all like to do? I'm going to point out that tower smells bad. Which makes Most me, certainly. which leads me to believe that is where we need to go. <laughs> Interesting yeah. line of logic, but I am inclined to agree. Let's go. Let's follow go? the smell. How are you going to get there? Walking. I mean, I can fly. Mm -hmm. I mean. Can I carry people? Like, are people, I mean, maybe Ida and Virgil are small enough for that. I'm not sure about Wiggles. Well, good news for you is that I can also fly. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I I am pretty uh, skilled in the uh, field of flight. What? The fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Explain. You you are a feline. How does a feline fly? Uh, you're you're too squishy. <laughs> you have are lots you of Mr. Well, How? let me Fat let me show fly? you, and I'm just going to casually cast fly and just start like <laughs> levitating upwards yes it's like it's like you know the thing that like mother cats do or parent cats do their kids where they like grab them by the scruff oh. of yep. their neck and pick them up <laughs> it's like oh Wiggles my god hanging there in that position and just begins to fly upwards <laughs> oh my god that's an amazing oh. image what the heck how high is how high is the tower the tower is uh probably 60 feet tall and it looks, it looks like it's leaning something fierce, like probably like a 15 degree angle. Ooh. Hmm. 
That's okay. The leaning tower of Elda. Well, if hey. like just if everybody, all of the pet tourists come to get their portraits painted, and they have to hold their hands up to make it look like they're holding up the tower. Okay, so everybody does so it. So who who would be carrying whom? Well, you certainly have more weight than I do. So p- perhaps you should carry someone. I hope that's not implying anything. Heavier. But I can take. Th- no, certainly not. But. The power of your magic seems to indicate it's capable of carrying a greater amount of mass than my small paper figure. All right, I'll get the I'll get Hedgy Boy. <laughs> Wait, what? Ida, um, care to hop on? And so, Ida, you can get on Kurogami's back. Yes, <laughs> yes, like riding a giant eagle. <laughs> uh, are you, are you okay? Eagles. I'm not too. Wait, 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 are you are you okay? I'm not too heavy, right? I believe I can sufficiently carry you across the lake. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, Wiggles, give me a, a strength check to pick up. I knew this, this was coming. Literally made of rocks, hedgehog. Hi, it's me. That's a seven. That's a seven. <laughs> he's he's still a baby, right? He's still a baby. He's very much still um, a baby. Oh, kiddo, you weigh it's a, a ton. It's <sighs> definitely a struggle. I'm sorry. Uh, you can probably be about three feet off of the surface of the lake, like ho- like flying him over. How are you holding Virgil? I'm I'm sort of like where I'm where my neck is kind of like scruffed. Yeah, or like where I'm being sort of carried. I'm just have uh-huh. like all my legs just kind of like wrapped <laughs> underneath of Virgil, so it's like an aircraft carrier. <laughs> oh my gosh! Aww. It's like I'm, Virgil it, has a parachute. But I'm like, but Wiggle, I'm like visibly wincing because he's so heavy. <laughs> I am literally made out of rock. I love the idea of your like tail billowing in the wind just, as you I, fly. I imagine it just like it's like Pikmin, where all of our all of our ship <laughs> is like can hardly fly. <laughs> okay, so you make it over there. You're like skirting the surface of the waters by the end of it, and you probably are like Virgil. Your toes are like dripping into this dark, <laughs> murky green water. Uh, Kurigami and Ida, you can make it over zero problem whatsoever. Oh, yeah. There is a... Open, I do this for breakfast. <laughs> there is an open door to the tower located uh, probably like a foot above the water's edge, which all of you can make your way inside of and make your way into the tower. Wiggles, the smell of rust is very strong, and you see a small pile of what looks like rusty uh, dust standing bef- like uh or not standing uh like gathered in front of a staircase which is going down and to describe what it's like inside of this tower you are standing on a probably three foot by three foot little stone platform it is a circular tower and looking up and around the complete 60 feet that you see above above the water's level uh, is completely hollow, so there's no stairs going up at all, right? Mm. It's just an open space. There's some windows up there, and <laughs> some uh, some morning's light is coming in, and and then there's no, there's only this small platform that you're standing on, and then there's just a circular staircase going down, and you can see fastened to this stone platform you're on and hanging down in like the middle of this circular staircase are three ropes but the staircase is also intact it's like these three very thin ropes um so what would you all like to do there's a pile of rust there's some ropes there's some stairs Hmm. yes and i need everyone to make perception checks (gasps) why am i rolling so well 13 i got a 10 23 it's all all downhill from here with a six (laughs) okay oh so everyone but everyone but wiggles because Wiggles is too I'm fascinated. too tired from lugging a literal dumbbell <laughs> in weight. Uh, yes. All of you, all the three of you here coming from far below, this very faint hum. Okay. Like, does it sound like a person humming? No. Or does it sound more like the hum of some machinery when you turn it on? It sounds like the hum or of Or like some, a light. It sounds like the hum of a light when you turn it on. Ooh, okay. Something appears to be active, Shall we investigate? Do we have to? <laughs> I Give hear it a... too. <coughs> Give me a, a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but I'm of course, of course. 
I am made of rock. <sighs> I've gotten lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Being carried in those pockets. <laughs> <laughs> He knew he was doing Perhaps this. Perhaps your me. father should take you out on more walks. <laughs> but I like the pockets and the convenience. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. Are you okay? So there's this little pile. There's this little pile of oh, rusted powder. powder. There's a hum coming from down the stairs. Um. Yeah, we're gonna. You said there's rusted powder where we were standing. Yeah, right in front of the stairs. Okay, like before we go down there, can I grab some of rusted powder and put it inside one of my tail pockets? Uh, it's not a pocket, but you can definitely shove it in your tail fur. <laughs> yeah, you gain plus one rusted powder. Da 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 da. <laughs> da, da. <I'm> not... <laughs> ah, damn it! <laughs> we had it, but now we don't. So I'm gonna start hopping down the staircase. Hopping down the staircase. Okay, you do so, and it nothing prevents you from doing so. Okay. What about the rope? You said there's a rope going down too, right? There's these three very thin ropes that are kind of like anchored into the stone platform and like they're like hanging in the middle of the staircase all the way down from what you can okay. see. Okay. I'm going to take the uh the rope because I'm well versed in rope cuz um of my mom. Which rope do you want to take? Oh no. Uh how will I describe this? Like front, left, left right or left, middle, right. Um can I tug on every single one of them? You tug see the on best every trip. single one of them, and you hear a very loud ringing of bells coming from below. Ding, ding. Every single one of them? If you tug on the left one, you hear a single bell. You tug on the middle one, you hear another bell, higher pitched. And if you tug on the right one, you hear like a medium pitch bell. We have to make a oh. song. This is my mother's area of expertise, not my own. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I'll go with a with a with a higher pitch one, the middle one, so the one in and the middle. slide okay. down slowly. It's so loud. <laughs> How would the rest of you like to descend? I go can't down the stairs. hold on to the rope. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go down the stairs. Okay, so the three of you, Kurogami, Virgil, and Mister Wiggles, Stair gang. descend the stairs <laughs> while you hear like ding 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 as Ida crawls down the rope. <laughs> And you all convene at the bottom of this staircase. Uh, and the humming, this uh, this high-pitched hum, seems to be a little bit louder down here. And to explain the setup, it's a circular tower. In the middle of the room are three bells that are hanging. The one on the left is large. The one in the middle is smallest. And the one on the far right is medium sized. Mm -hmm. There is on one side of the wall, let's say like directly straight north, there is a uh, steel door mm. or sorry, not a steel door, a copper door. Mm. And the humming noise seems to be coming from that on the opposite side of the room. So the southern side, let's say there is a completely open doorway that outside of which you can see the murky green water of the lake okay. and uh mm. probably 80 feet away you can see a little pocket of air wait and okay. it's it seems like the it seems like the floor in this bottom of the tower is flush with like the lake bed itself oh. like the mud and stuff cool. and, none, and none of the water is coming into the tower either it's just flowing down interesting Ooh, that's cool that's so cool so there's like a almost like a barrier that prevents the water from mm -hmm. rushing in mm -hmm. oh we're gonna break that at some i want to live somewhere like that you mean so this what would you all like to hmm. <laughs> i was literally thinking the exact same thing but i didn't want to say it <laughs> too bad I said it. well it's been said <laughs> you're welcome so what would you like to do hmm i'm interested in that humming sound indeed I wonder if it could additionally bestow powers upon us. Ooh. Illuminate one of those crystal hearts from earlier. I want power. I want power. Yeah. I think you have to ring yes, the bell. Yes, you do. Then. You gotta make music, I think, to make a door open. <gasps> hmm. Ooh. But what kind Either of that, music? Well, what song do we know that only has three notes? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four notes. No, that's three. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. 
<laughs> Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a All right. little lamb. That's enough. Stop. <laughs> no. That's full notes. No, that's three. Oh, no, you're right. Never mind. Oh, yeah, my God. <laughs> I'm dying here. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Well, if I just like pull on it and like try to make it make some kind of noise, is does it like does the humming or anything like does it seem responsive? Which what are you gonna pull on? Oh, and sorry, on the bottom of all the little bells attached to like their uh, what are they called? Like the uh, clappers is like mm-hmm. a little ribbon. <gasps> um, so are you gonna like ring one of the bells? Yeah. Which one? The middle one. The middle one. You hear a single. Like high pitched bell. What about the left one? The left one, you hear a medium pitched bell that I'm not going to try to make the sound of. Ding. Because <laughs> what? Ding. Thank you. <laughs> and the one on the right? Oh, you said left, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Left is a low note then. Ding. Sorry. Bong. Bong. And then the right Bong. is a medium pitched note. Bong. Bong. So ringing. The middle, dun, the left, dun, and the right. Dun, dun, Nothing dun, seems so it to. goes dun, dun, low, dun, high, dun. medium. So yeah. it's like. Dun, no. dun, dun. Yes. <gasps> it doesn't seem play... to affect the door at all. We can play the beginning of the hmm. Jeopardy song. I was thinking that too. Okay. <laughs> okay. What if we play the TNT theme song? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! Please. <laughs> what if? This what is... if? What if we ring all of them together at the same time? Ooh. Interesting create a harmony my my mommy told me one story from 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 your 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 mom and and your dad uh about all of them holding the 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 the, the, the thing together the pyramid together maybe this will work this time oh, interesting Ring them bells let's attempt it how many times do you want to try it just once Three times. Well, let's see what happens. The, let's see what happens the first time first. You ring all three bells all at once. Nothing happens. I say three times. That's the lucky number. I am now holding back the urge to go and find a food dish because in past experiences, bell equals food. <laughs> <laughs> you ring it a second and third time. Yes. And nothing seems to happen. Seems. I nothing need seems all of you to, to make, happen. All of you make perception checks, though. Thanks. Oh. I can perception oh! check. A boulder comes out of nowhere and crushes you. Why? All. Why am I rolling so crit. well? Twenty-one. Ooh, I got a nineteen. Fifteen. All of you feel a, the slightest amount of water underfoot. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, water. Wait. What? I want to go look at the oh, air pocket. Fun. Is it leaking? Uh, so looking over to the doorway, it seems like the tiniest amount is trickling in from the very bottom. Uh, to clarify, it's like it's not like an air pocket right here. There's like a pocket of air, like eighty feet away uh, across the lake bed from where oh, the doorway I got is. It. Yeah, I got it. But a, a very small amount of water is trickling in through the doorway now. Uh oh. Mm. Ooh, I think we broke the eardrum. <laughs> what about <laughs> what about the copper door? The copper door. It seems to be humming. Still. Louder or the same? Wait, what? Same. Can hmm. we tell what kind of pitch it has? Is it playing? Uh, it seems to be not. It's it's not like a constant. It's like, uh, like all over the place. Maybe. Oh, so we can't what just if we have to the pitch of the? What if we have to follow the humming notes? Oh, like match the pitch of the notes with our bells? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We can try. I hit the door. <laughs> You're gonna hit the door with like your paw? Yeah. Give it a good old bap. We Please drown take water. four lightning damage. Ah! Oh. As you feel oh my shit. shop. As all of you can see, like, a spark, uh, like, uh, or, like, an arc of electricity, uh, reach out and zap Wig- Mr. Wiggles' paw before he even makes contact with the door. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles! You found your match! My fur! Uh, are you all right? I'm all puffy. <laughs> You're all puffy now. <laughs> My goodness. I don't recommend hmm. touching that door. Are you okay? Not. Do you want some nuts? I have some nuts in, no, my, I, in my I pocket. I think I'm good. I think I'm good for now. Thank you, though. Okay. Hmm. What shall we do about this water situation? So can we try the match the note thing? 
Um, give me a performance check. This is where my uh, not understanding music falls apart in that I don't understand what that means or how that's possible. Matching the pitch. <laughs> well, for example, <laughs> well, like, it, you know, if you play a low note and a high note at once, the harmony might have a similar sound to the notes that are playing oh. in the humming on the other side of the door. <laughs> Give me a performance check, Ida. Oh, my God. I don't understand um, how hard which... it is for you to grasp it. That's, that's charisma. 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 I got 18. What we nice. both said, chorizo. 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 Chipotle. <laughs> I Did you know? think Ida, you you ring the bells in a specific way that it seems to be very, very. It seems to be the same uh, frequency as what, or the same uh, pitch as the door. Um, <laughs> it appears not to do anything. However. Damn. Oh gosh, darn it. It was right at the shot. There is that pocket of air, though, 80 feet away. Mm -hmm. But it's Maybe. far. But, like, would we have to then go through the water to you get would. to the air pocket? Yes, you would. Maybe we have That's to That's concerning it because. And die. <laughs> and die. <laughs> well, what if... are any of us safe to be in the water? Because certainly I'm not particularly. Uh... I mean, I would literally sink like a stone. Hmm. And I would, uh, I would just absorb all of it. I don't know if I'll be able to swim. I don't know. I don't know if I I will float or I will sink. I've never really tried. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Is this like far enough away that we think we could like hold our breaths going in? Because, like, maybe I don't know. Probably. Some of you don't need to breathe, if I recall. I don't need like, to breathe. I don't breathe. think Wiggles or Ida need to breathe. Like Wiggles is a like a magical cat. He doesn't need to eat and breathe. That's true. And Ida mm -hmm. is a construct, and she however, need to eat, water eat sleep. However, water. <laughs> yeah. I mean, definitely not good for paper. How? I'm trying to think. How? Like, how? From if I were to stand in front of this water, right? Yes. How much of a distance would there of water would there between be between me and the air pocket? Eighty feet. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way. It's a long wait, way. Wait, wait, I have, I have, I have, I have an idea. I can shoot. I can shoot. I, well, I can. Then. I can shoot spines from my back. Yes. What if I did that? That's correct. What if I popped it with the, my with my spines, Luke? Would you like to do that? I would like to try this. Yes. What do I need to roll? Um. Can you read your move to me, please? Um. Uh. I think the one I'm going with is. I think the one I would go with for this one emergency protocol diamond dust break because i don't want to fly <laughs> I love his name. because i don't want to fly off with it that my that my that crystalline yeah. quilt commotion would perform so i think i have to like okay. have it lodge off of my body so uh my for so for emergency protocol diamond dust break uh virgil shatters one of three large crystals on his back causing it to explode in a rainbow of brilliant light and tiny shards of crystal this deals 1d4 force damage to Virgil and 5d8 piercing damage to all enemies. Oh, wait, no, that won't work. Because it's to all enemies within 10 that's within feet. Like... Mm -hmm. Wait, is there a distance thing for the quill commotion one? The quill thing, you have to be next to them. Damn it. I wanted to be helpful, mm. but instead I made myself the fool. That the was fool. almost like an amazing solution. Thank you. <laughs> I tried. I can't read things though. That's my problem. Same though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I what? Oh, well, we want to break the water, right? <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> what if we part the water? It's definitely somehow? an assumption. It's it's definitely an assumption you can make. Yeah. Maybe no, we're trying to break one. the, like we like we want to break the thing, the, the, the pop the pop pop the air pocket right that's what we're trying to do yeah <laughs> why is not is it though because we just assumed that uh we haven't been given any <laughs> kind of confirmation in any part of the environment of what we're supposed to be doing right now but like well, when we rung all the bells it made some of yeah the, it made like a, a break in the seal and what if that's what so maybe we can he did bring more bells there were ribbons 
on the ribbons on, on the bottom on the of bottom the of the bell though. Which means so we're maybe, supposed maybe to maybe we should observe them. the ribbons and see what they do. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Okay, Virgil's gonna go stare at the ribbons. I thought they're all a, a, they're all light purple ribbons. Pretty. I thought ribbons were just to like hold on to them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. are, 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 are they different from each other in some way, shape, or form? Uh, they're all the same length, made of silk, same color, purple. I'm going to no, bat like, at them with my paw. No extra things on it. There's no extra adornments. Wiggles starts to wig- like lie on his back and bat yeah. at them. <laughs> Wiggles with begins to wiggle. <laughs> Aww. Engage wiggling. Does there appear to be anything inside the air pocket, like just besides like air? If you really look and you squint hard, the water is fairly murky. It looks like there's something in there, but you can't quite make out from this distance. So if you look with your eyes. (laughs) So (laughs) perhaps we must, rather than pop the bubble, fetch something contained within it. Like try. Does this seem appropriate? Like try and bring the bubble to us? Or simply its contents. But but how? Yeah. Ooh, what if I rub myself in this magic powder that I found upstairs? Maybe that will make me, um... Not, uh, that will protect me from the water. Magic powder? Did you find fairy dust? <laughs> I found Can it upstairs before we started going down. Here, Everyone let me try. Now. And I'm gonna... Uh, you- yeah, uh, you rub rusted powder all over your body. You turn a slightly orangish brown. Do you feel and I'm magical? Going to, um, we'll see. And then I'm going to um, move my hand towards the water. You put your hand out through the doorway and into the water. Uh, the water doesn't seem to permeate your stuffing very much. Like you feel slightly damp when you pull your arm back in, but not like filled with water. Now... From my experience, which is not very long because it took a while for my mom to um, make me, uh, I should be getting more soaking wet than this. Do you think it worked? And I'm going to show them my arm. It it, it appears you are at least somewhat protected. So perhaps if you went over, went to the bubble of air, uh, took its contents from the bubble, returned it over here... Perhaps it would be something of use to us. I can do that. And I'm going to uh, uh, put more of me into the water. You're going to step out through the doorway? Be careful. Um, Oh, brave Ida. (laughs) How far is the... uh, How far is the... um, Air pocket? Air pocket. 80 feet. Okay. Hmm. I think it's a sacrifice that I will have to make. Jesus. Godspeed. (laughs) I hope you stay safe. Don't get Go get him, kiddo. Okay. So you step out through this doorway into the bottom of this green lake. And it's difficult to see because it's very murky and dark, but you can continue walking on the lake bed forward towards the air pocket. I need you to make... Constitution saving throw. Strength Death. saving throw. Until suddenly, the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> There's always a bigger fish. Why am I rolling so well? Why? 18. I don't know. Oh, and Do 18. you want to die? <laughs> no, I don't want to die. <laughs> you can roll again. You can roll with disadvantage. No, no, no. I'm fine. Want. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> um. So you all see Ida. Uh, as she walks, she becomes fainter because of the murkiness of the water. But you can still see her bright blue back and her nine tails floating up. Her nine tails are like soaking in a ton of water as a note. Like the tails are a lot fleshier like than the rest of her. It's like sponges, <laughs> yes. Um, and Ida, you feel them like kind of like creating some drag, pulling you back because it's just a lot of weight to carry. And you like your feet probably fall up to like your knee into the mud of the lake bed. Um, but nothing too bad happens as you make your way to the air bubble and you can enter or inside of the air bubble before you enter you see four bells floating in the air and they seem <gasps> to be ringing four bells so would you like to ringing. S- yes would you like to step in yes please it seems to be okay or er, there's sorry i lied there's just three bells it's oh. the same three bells and some of them are ringing. Oh. I'm sorry. Hmm. So you take a step into the air bubble. Okay. 
you immediately feel very heavy and damp. Your tails drop to the ground and get covered in mud. And you see that the sequence in which the bells are ringing seems to be small, small, large, small. Small, and then small, it pauses large, for large, like, small. Small, small, large, small. Small, 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 small large, large, small. small. Yes. S-S-L-S. And, and, and then it pauses for like five seconds and then it plays the notes again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> Every, everything is ruined <laughs> before i go Unless back out podcast, um guys, i would sorry. like to, i would like to um shake myself as well as um <laughs> use um like like scrunch my tail and mm-hmm. and of course do a helicopter yeah. on it like, just to like dry myself as much as possible. Do it. It's adorable. <laughs> Why are we making okay. so many Star Wars references? You, <laughs> you can do all this stuff, Ida, and then proceed back towards the tower. I need you to do the same strength saving throw as you walk back through the mud. That's okay. She, she'll roll high. She always rolls yeah, high, right? She'll roll high. She always rolls high. Right? Don't right? don't hex me. Don't hex me. We'll get the results next time on Trials and Trials. <laughs> um, house twelve. At twelve. Uh oh. Okay. So you all see Ida. <laughs> yep, there she is, perfectly she fine. Gets, she gets about ten feet out from this air bubble, and so seventy feet away from all the rest of you stuck inside the bottom of the tower or standing inside the bottom of the tower i guess you're not really stuck you can leave anytime you want yep uh-huh. and you see her sink up to like the shoulders in the mud <gasps> well, are you okay and she becomes completely immobile uh, and ida you feel what feels like grass grabbing onto like your ankles and pulling you into the mud ew uh-oh no. uh the mermaid's got her and you all see you all see the air bubble behind Ida collapse. Uh oh. Um, uh, um. What would you like to do? Okay. Exact must... fast. Res- Someone must reach her. Rescue mission is a go. Um. Hmm. I. <sighs> <sighs> I literally. I literally. Who knew all you had to do to terrorize you guys was just to put some water out in front of you? <laughs> We're all weak to water, you ass. It's um, almost like someone planned that. Mm, I'm I'm literally stone. Like I will just plop in and not come back. We it's a rock. It's a rock and paper. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, you have claws. That counts, right? Uh, I do a- don't want to have to do this just because of water, but ah. Uh, hmm. Are you gonna? Okay. Do um. I, I hate this. I'm going to um dive into the water. Oh, oh boy. And I'm gonna start yeah, my doing my best, my best cat swim. <laughs> okay, so you're not gonna like walk along the bottom. You're gonna I'm swim. I'm gonna swim. Mm-hmm. So you can. We're swim. Wait, no. Very. I'm do. I'm mimicking for the audience. <laughs> what it looks <laughs> He's like. He's doing a doggy when, paddle. It's a weak do doggy like a paddle. Very, they do like for a those very, of you who can like, see this paddle. Um. Yeah. And you can very slowly make your way over. By the time you reach Ida, I think it's like her, the tips of her nose and like her button eyes and like her fluffy ears sticking out of the mud. Okay. Oh what would gosh. you like to do? I wish to, I wish to bite. I wish to grab, <laughs> I wish to grab with teeth. <laughs> you can very easily do that. She can't move. I must attempt lift. <laughs> uh, make a strength check. You're so strong. <laughs> you lifted me like it was nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh no! I am too weak. What's a three minus a three? Oh, so you got a no. zero. <laughs> oh no! No, Ida, can you take ten damage? <laughs> I don't. As wanna... you go completely underneath the wa- the mud, Wiggles, your uh, head and mouth begins to be pulled under the mud. You oh, put like shit. your front paws down to like prevent yourself from being pulled, and you feel grass wrap around your like front paws and start to pull you under too. It's like a cat when they get a bag stuck on their head; they don't know what's going yeah. on. <laughs> Kurigami, did you want to do May something? May I try um, something? What do you so want this, to try? This isn't how the spell is traditionally used. Oh, I'm here for it. <laughs> but I'm wondering if 
if I come really close to the water, if I can cast Gust to push some of it away. Oh. I have, and then I want to cast another spell after that. Part the I water. I want to see Gust works first. <laughs> the chosen one has because done it. Because it's really cool. Absolutely. You can do that. Okay. However, you'll do it, but it will make this bottom room fill up faster. Okay. 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 And then what I want to do, if the water is like pushed further back, yeah. is I want to fly up. You give like a really big flap of your wings and the water gets pushed back how far what does it get um, pushed if it was a creature it would be 10 feet okay the water but gets it's pushed, a cantrip the water so gets I can pushed back like 10 keep feet pushing keep the water it. yeah okay so okay what i want to do then because i don't think i have the strength to pull my friends out but what i can do is cast snare okay. which m- creates a snare that will magically hoist them into the air Mm. So I wonder if I can use Snare to hoist them up out of the mud and then simply drop the spell. Absolutely, you can do that. That's a very clever solution. Um, You, Wiggles, feel a snare wrap around your midsection and start to hoist you into the air. You pull Ida (laughs) along with you up into the air. You're now both just, and then you're just released. You're now just floating in, well, not the air. You're floating in the open water. And you can slowly swim back. Uh, you can see like gr- like this grass is like almost like Ida's almost wrapped up like a mummy in grass. Oh Jesus! Ew. And like the, your front paws are wrapped up in grass and stuff. Uh, but you can quickly break free of that. Panic swim. And swim back to the doorway, which is now very quickly letting water in because Kurogami acted so heroically. Um, so what's the plan now? Everyone, you're all safe back in the tower. Ugh. The water is Yay. probably, the water's rising quickly, so act fast. I hate water. Oh. Small, uh, small. Uh, me as well. Okay. Small, 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 large, small. 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 Very well, very well, very well. Okay. We small, yeah. small, large, small. <laughs> and <laughs> you hear <laughs> the humming of the door stop. Oh, finally, I can hear myself think again. <laughs> What's that like? And the water, the water continues What's to rise. What's that like? Can we push the door open? You push the door, and it does budge, and it opens, <gasps> um, and it swings open. The water also does not seem to enter into this room. Oh, perfect. And you f- can all walk in. You find yourselves in a very, very perfectly rectangular room. Oh. In what? Uh, in what way? Like it's like you're walking in long ways. Okay. Right? And so the floor is made of gold. Everything's made of gold. There's a... There's a... There's four statues. One of a cat. One of a crow. One of a squirrel. One of a hedgehog. Mm. The crow one, you can all see when the door opens, there's a crystal in the crow that is lit up already. And then Mr. Wiggles, (gasps) when you walk in, the crystal in the chest of the cat lights up as white as well there is a small pedestal with a very fluffy looking golden pillow uh in front of the statues on top of the pillow is a little red collar with a bell on it oh my and God. behind Don't the perfect. statues there's a painting Similar to what we've already seen. It's not similar to what we've already seen, but in the same style as what we've already seen, which depicts the four heroes, the squirrel, the cat, the hedgehog, and the paper bird, um, pushing this great metal beast that you've seen depicted in the Grand Duke's uh, mansion into a fountain. Hmm. Only this one is also done like a Picasso. (laughs) 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 There's a lot of gold foil on it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um so the room behind you is filling with water while that happens you're in this room uh and there's a collar on a lovely golden cushion what would you like to do okay well first of all i'm gonna hop up on the pedestal okay you hop up on there collar looks perfectly sized i'm gonna knock it off the pedestal it it not <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just gonna i'm gonna lay down as on the you, pillow a little bit as you hit it with your paw your like mind goes blank, uh, Mr. Wiggles, oh, and no. you Uh-oh. have a. It almost feels like a memory comes rushing back to you, right? Like the floodgates just got opened, right? And you're standing 
at your master's feet. You're doing that thing that cats do where they like rub against the legs and like crisscross and like do the little figure eight. And you're standing and doing that to your master's legs. They're wearing like these like uh, raggedy old pants and like these horribly disgusting leather boots. Um, and <laughs> you feel like this crisp uh, air as it, and you know, you just came out of somewhere that had like this musky, disgusting, like uh, old air. And you're just like, Oh, it smells so nice. It's so wonderful out here. You you're on top of like a mountain and mm -hmm. you're on like the steps of some old, something or other right you're not really too concerned where you were you just know you were going into some old uh crypt somewhere to get some old thing right that's neither here and nor there your master is arguing with his traveling companion about this magic artifact that they just retrieved and there are mm. it's like this big stone tablet with this odd geometric script written upon it and they're kind of like pulling it back and forth and you're they're arguing about what, who it should go to, right? Uh, your master thinks it should go back to the people who funded your expedition. Uh, the, it should go back to the order. It, they funded the expedition. And the traveling companion is arguing that they have a seller or a buyer in the bridge fort that would pay you to a, or your master and him, a boatload of gold for it, right? Hmm. And... The argument gets out of hand. The stone tablet falls on the ground and cracks. And before your master can pull out his spell book, uh, and like you're getting ready because you're like, oh, it's popping off right now, right? And before your master can pull out his spell book, he has a hole in his chest. And his travel, your tra his, he falls to the ground. His traveling companion puts away the wand and picks up the spell book and throws it as far as he possibly can off of the top of this mountain. Oh, and what? the last thing you have of this memory is your former master reaching out his hand as he dies and petting you one last time Aww. and saying, you were a great cat, Monty. I'm gonna uh, die. And then you're back in this a uh, little sanctum and you're standing above this golden pillow and you just knocked this collar onto the ground and it's like the little bell rings once. Mm. I feel like a stake was just drive through my chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I'm just going to, I'm going to like realize what I just did and quickly run down or jump off the pedestal and just sort of like coddle the, the collar a little bit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Are, are you okay? It, it, yeah. I don't know. Oh. Are, are you crying? <laughs> no, I'm do not you, crying. It's just some water healing? that's dripping down my face still. Oh, no. Do you, do, do you want? Do you want to heal? Do you guys? Do you want to? Um, I can light up and everything. I probably have to because um, I feel so weak. I feel like um, I. Well, just one blow and I'll be gone. <laughs> That's because I only have one hit point left. <laughs> you only have one hit point? Oh my god. I, I guess while we're in this like inner sanctum area, I'm going to like hunker down and start mm -hmm. my weird glow light party again. Absolutely. I'm just you all can regain a D eight hit point. I'm just gonna just Ida again. Stay close to everybody. Absolutely. Well, you wanna put the collar on? I'm going to slowly put the collar on after staring at it like Okay. Gloomily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's but it's just that single memory. Nothing else really comes back to you, right? Um, like I feel sad all of a sudden. Yeah, and so you when you put the collar on, you feel emboldened. Like you have a new, not heroic sense, because I don't think you were ever heroic. No, I was not ever <laughs> heroic at the slightest. <laughs> you definitely feel more confident in your prowess. <laughs> and you gain the skill, I think you Pushy Pod Monty. Oh. Pushy pod Monty. Also, instead of prowess, I was gonna say prowl, but I guess that's okay. <laughs> um, I would like to eat. I mean, like I thought I was gonna die out there. Thank you so much for for saving me, everyone. Uh, of course. How is everybody feeling? Mm, still wet. wet. <laughs> Let's get ourselves out of here, and perhaps. I can flap my wings and provide some assistance with drying off. If I Absolutely. if I oh, eat sorry. two things, 
Well, I roll 1d6 plus 2 twice if um, I do my reju- reju- rejuvenated horde. I think there's horde. a little bit of a, like, you don't have infinite horde. Okay. And I think I might have to rework that for you so that you can't just eat constantly. Well, I okay. Listen, I had one. Mm-hmm. You can have one for so sure. So far. How many rejuvenating hordes can I have? At a time, one. <gasps> or else you'll get a tummy ache. <sighs> okay. I guess I won't eat yet. I need to um, release it. Cool. So, would you all like to try to leave? The outside room is not completely filled with water yet, so if you're going to leave, I would recommend you do it soon. Uh, yeah. Uh, we leave now. Yep. Super yeah, agree. We're leaving. Okay. We leave. Okay. And you all can make your way up the tower, or up, the, up to the base of the tower, and somehow back to land just flying again yeah why not <laughs> i would like to get more of that powder in my pocket you can have more powder in your tail um and mr Wiggles, you'll just cast fly and carry virgil again yep <sighs> okay and you can all return to the shore mm. and that's where we'll end this episode oh. 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 carla can you do the outro please why <laughs> <laughs> Because you were the second one that he asked last time, and I fulfilled my thing. You have to fulfill the prophecy, Carla. Uh, fulfill the prophecy, prophecy Carla. Sh- prophecy is a, b- 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 it's a lie. The prophecy is <gasps> not true. The prophecy is fake? Uh, Carla, could you do the outro? Please? Well, a sure thing, Luke. Um, <laughs> Hello, everybody. We hope that you enjoyed today's prophecies. <laughs> But not really a prophecy. It's an episode. Anyways, we would like to um, ask you to please leave a like or a rating on our iTunes. It helps us out a lot because it, 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 it tells us that you support us and that you love us. And we need all that love that we can get. So please do that um, and share it to your friends if you think that we're cool. And I think we are. <laughs> um, <laughs> Agreed. Um, we also have an Instagram and a Twitter at Trials and Trebs where you can see teasers and um, cool images and just a bunch of fun stuff because we're a boatload of fun. We also have a Discord server where you can contact us, talk to us, you know? <laughs> we, love a, we love a conversation yeah. going here. We love you. You love us. We're a big happy family. Um, Hell yeah, we are. And I think that the last thing that I am told to do is to ask for your help. Um, because we... <laughs> oh, as I was saying, um, we need your help. And that help will come through your money. Monetary <laughs> help. Your money. <laughs> so your... Isn't that Mr. Wiggles' old name? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Through our page, page, um, Patreon page, which you will see on our Instagram, because I think that's how you can find our Patreon, or but you can also Google at it. Patreon.com slash Trials and Trebs. Tri- 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 I don't trams. even think we have an Instagram post about our Patreon. <laughs> nope. And and um, any donation is very much like appreciated. You can help us choose um, bonus episodes, which is coming up quite soon. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, and <laughs> that is all I am asking from you. Yes. <laughs> don't please don't feel pressure to donate just listening is enough anything extra is wildly too generous please help uh, but thank you everyone for listening this week i hope you enjoyed some cat lore uh we'll talk to you next week bye bye bye, bye. talking to your ear holes bye. later we we'll miss talk you, to you in your, your holes. we we'll miss you bye. take care stay happy bye <laughs>